The second option for delivering some imagery from our uh, models is back up here in the visualization sec. We have the new VU rendering engine. And this is the button here to evoke this, the dialogue which will help us produce. So what we have here is we have basically two options available to us. We can select the view, but we have a path tracer and a ray tracer. And the ray tracer is your traditional form of, of rendering, but the advantages of, of ray tracing is it comes with tons and tons of settings. So you can tweak and, and massage your images before you hit the rendering button. But what the path tracer provides is a physically unbiased rendering engine, meaning you have less settings that you need to tweak before you can run your solution and your image. Um, the path tracer uses the GPU, the graphics processing unit, rather than the CPU, uh, which helps make the rendering faster. And included in this would be things like denoising, where you have that fine sort of scatter light that may appear on some of your objects, you know, the path tracer works with your NVIDIA's and your Intel graphics cards with the denoising technologies to remove that noise from your scene. So let's have a look at some of the settings here. We've got the path tracer selector, the size that you want to produce this with. We have additional light setups, and in this scene, we do have a lot of lights, you know, up here and these lights here and through there. And we'll look at those in a minute. We have an atmosphere editor to add things like fog and haze and so forth and then some final render quality so let's have a look at one of our previous renders that we did um, there's a whole list of previous renders at the bottom of your view there so if we just zoom out a little bit on this view so the, the initial pass quality is good however the lighting's a little little bit dull so we'll look at that line those up what we've got here is relighting effects and um post-production uh, non-rendering effects as well. So we'll look at those in a minute. Up here, we've got very quick brightness and contrast settings, but we can open our post-production settings to alter those bits of bits. And then we can save the image out. And we'll say we can store our previous images here to go back to them. So let's have a quick look at some of our post-rendering effects. What you'll find here is a lot more effects than what we have up here, especially with the brightness and contrast and so forth. So let's take a look at a couple of them and see what we can do there. I might actually drop the brightness down a little bit on here as well. Okay, we can choose our de denoiser settings. I'm running an NVIDIA card here, so we can use that, that one there. We have various bloom effects, which gives us a little bit of bloom with our lighting. We have it's a pros processing down below and some color correction. You know, one of the nice things you might want to do here is just drop the saturation down a little. The reason why I haven't made this scene a little bit lighter to this point using say things like density and the brightness slider is because I've got a bunch of lights in the scene and I want to do some things to those lights. So over to the relighting tab, you will see all the lights that we've placed in our open building scene here listed. Okay, we may come down to these industrial lights down here. Again, give those a little bit of effect. Again, we may give it a bit of warmth there. Change the light and just lift. Okay, so it's quite bright. So, you know, we may like to have a look at each one of these on an individual basis, just make them slightly different for Make them slightly different to give a bit of difference in the scene. One thing you may want to do is look at your solar as well. Bring your solar up if you'd like to see what's going on outside a little more. It does throw a few more shadows over the scene too, which is quite nice. And you can have a look at your ambient too. And you can see it's putting some sky in the background there. Again, it could take a bit of tweaking here to get what you want. I mean, it still might be a little bit dull for our our liking, we might want to, you know, lift the brightness a little or not, as the case may be. Okay. And we might just pop that saturation up a little. Anyway, so the designer to do in some post-processing there. 
also included is some style effects that you, you can have a play with as well there too. So in order to get that image out the door, we just hit save image, choose our folder and we send it out. Okay, so the path tracer and the Voo rendering engine can provide some additional options there for you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.